All right, so this lock has been sprayed with some kind of oil-based lubricant, probably a WD-40 type of uh, lubrication seems to be the most common one. And this is what happens when that happens. You can see here that uh, this lock, the springs are so bound up in the top uh, that they will not bounce back down into the chambers below because they're frozen, because of all this nasty guck right in here. Uh, and it's binding up the springs and it's binding up the pins. So that's why this lock cylinder is able to be 100% rotated either direction uh, without a key, actually. Um, so you can see it goes both ways. It just sits right there. Now if we were to tap on this, we might be able to get them to come back down in there and lock up and show that it's locking, that it is locking up, maybe. But that's going to be a pretty difficult task. We might be able to get them to... There we go. Nope. So this lock isn't even working properly at all. So we're going to have to go ahead and take this apart, tear it apart, see what's going on inside, flush it out, and then um, go ahead and re-lubricate it with something dry like a Teflon or, or uh, graphite.